Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? Alright, so we are finally back home, as y'all can see. Familiar settings, 300ZX in the background. But, ooh, why is the 350Z not here? Hmm, it's the first time the, the G35's been in the yard. Hmm, that's not normal. Hmm. I decided to drop the 350Z off at the shop. Uh, I was already planning on just leaving it there for a couple days anyway because I haven't really been driving the G. We did end up finishing the G35 up and I kind of just wanted to give the 350Z a break. But remember how I was telling you the altitude had the car feeling super slow. So when I got back home, I was like, um, hmm, let me do a pull and check this thing out and see if I got my power back. Did a pull, car felt fantastic went the brake and then the brake pedal felt all mushy and i was like whoa what the hell so uh i had the i had the 350z towed to the shop left it there um it's already fixed but i decided to just drive the g35 around so the engine bay setup on here is a little bit different a few things have been changed but i'm not gonna show you all those right now i'm gonna show you all those later this thing looks sick the sky is still all ashy out here but it's not anywhere close to where it was at yesterday yesterday the sky literally looked like armageddon or some shit it looked like the devil was coming out the sky it was hella ugly like it literally if you if i could put it into perspective it looked like we were living on mars basically nothing but red sky it was some trippy ass shit so uh, camera quality was looking funny. I'm pretty sure people that had high-tech cameras and shit were loving it because then they could do all their little doomsday videos and stuff. But, you know, for my little GoPro, it was just like, it looked like I had like a Snapchat filter on this thing the whole time. Oh no. What is this? You're not taking the G? Why are you taking this Mazda thing thing? But the reason for this car, the reason why we have the rental right now is because we are planning on going back to Tahoe. Actually, tonight we're going back out there. It was so much fun out there. We didn't get to do uh, as much as we wanted to do because there's a lot of tours. So we decided to, to go out there again this weekend for our actual anniversary. Our anniversary is tomorrow. So uh, this time I'm not really going to be vlogging while I'm out there. I'm just going to be spending time with my girl and we're just going to be chilling. But the whole way this actually came about was one of my uh, followers on IG hit me up and was like, yo, you know, I see you in Tahoe. I actually have property in Tahoe and you're more than welcome to come stay at one of my properties. Uh, he has these nice, beautiful beach houses that he offered, uh, jet skis, kayaks, everything's fully available for our use. And it's, it's super dope. You know, he didn't have to reach out, but he did. And I'm grateful for it. He said he didn't want a shout out or anything like that. So, I mean, you know, I still want to give you props, bro. If you're watching this, I just want to say uh, thank you for, you know, opening your home to us and giving us the opportunity to, you know, go there and actually enjoy our uh, anniversary and just have an actual vacation, no vlogging, no nothing, just, just full chill mode. It's time to go out here to Santa Rosa because we do have a Corvette update for y'all. So stay tuned. So yeah, y'all can even see the visibility out here is trash. Like usually over here, you can see water, and basically like the mountains and nice scenery type stuff, but you literally can't see crap, except for smoke. It's crazy. Just getting here to Brett, to the Santa Rosa, and I do need to drop off this 90 mil throttle body. This is going to mate up with the Fast 92 intake manifold that I got. I'm about to be loosening up these bolts, and I'm just about to be adding some Loctite to them. You always see horror stories of these coming off and getting sucked into the motor, so, Add some red Loctites to this just to be on the safe side. Brett's over here assembling rings right now. This was our forge piston with a stock LS3 rod set up. Kind of like some Frankenstein did, but it's pretty dope that it's gonna work. These rods are way beefier than the, the factory LS1 rods. You can see that. That girth. It's like me versus Brett right there. Yeah, and this, uh, <laughs> this section right here is looks thicker on the new one more material how long have you been doing this uh i just look at the right there 
Oh, I thought you was. I thought you was doing some fancy shit. No, not yet. I'm just trying to get them on there, and then I'm gonna put them in the orientation they're supposed to be. They got like a, a section for each gap around here, so I'm gonna do that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm not doing anything uh, outside the box here. I'm just kind of going by the instructions. Should have made it seem like you was doing some fancy. Shit. Yeah, it's uh, TPD style uh, <laughs> piston assembly. <laughs> So after looking them up, I seen that the, the LS3 rods and the Gen 4 stuff, or the, the trucks that, the truck motors that make a thousand horsepower, they all basically share the same exact rods. Yeah, made with that blower coming in a little bit higher in the RPMs, you know, you, you might be, be okay with the setup, so. Might be? <laughs> what is this might be you speak of, yo? Thousand horsepower, they're good for it. Check out this machine work. Looks good. All bored out. Hot tanked, all cleaned up. Look like a brand new block. Definitely didn't want to go super OD on the LS, but like I said, this build is a tribute to my grandfather, so I just want to spare no expenses on it. And this is probably going to be a car that I plan on keeping for a long time anyway. So, you know, hopefully my grandpa's going to be looking down smiling like you did it boy i'd rather this be a ls3 but you know to keep it period correct and like i said the tribute for my grandfather i decided to just do it all on the ls1 could have done ls3 for sure but then it wouldn't have been kind of like time specific for when he wanted to get one fifteen hundred horsepower right yeah, uh, divided by three. <laughs> divided by five. Uh, Come on, man. You're supposed to be getting us Texas 2K ready, baby. Yeah, it's a uh, big LS1 here. It's the big boy. <laughs> <laughs> the small boy. Baby gang. Yeah. <laughs> so originally when we started building this motor, it was going to be an NA build, but uh, Brett caught it and had the uh, rings and everything regapped. So it is going to be a difference for the ring gap and for NA and boosted setup. It has it all on here on the paper. Where were we at before? We were a uh, high performance street NA and uh, Marlin gapped them for that. So it'd be, you know, nice and tight for NA, but um, it needs more gap for uh, turbocharger, supercharger. So we're going with uh, supercharger up to 15 pounds and they, they request for like 15 more thou times bore. Uh, on that and uh, if we were going over 15 PSI they're they're calling it 70 times the bore so hmm. as you can see they got different uh, gaps for different applications here so you, um, you get the best for what you're building yeah we're gonna be between 8 and 100 PSI somewhere around there <laughs> <laughs> it's going for the diesel conversion so this is where the stock skirt is or she said they don't recommend going over 10 on um say what uh like the stock uh sleeve oh right, right here where the yeah, color changes yeah, exactly that's the steel material um it's like cast into the block and uh yeah they don't, they don't want you to go too big overboard on these maybe like 10 at the most yeah we did eight seven seven i think maybe eight yeah I'm just getting back towards my city and um i feel like this is the perfect time to kind of just update y'all on everything tomorrow's our anniversary and this is well, 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 well overdue. Me and my girl are approaching, we're well overdue. We're approaching our 11 year anniversary. So it's probably the perfect time to do this. Uh, just gonna be me and her. I'm not vlogging this trip. We're just gonna be enjoying it. But you know, this is what it's coming down to. A lot of my success is based on, on my girl before I was making the money that I'm making now. Uh, you know, she was always going half on me with shit helping me get cars together, helping me make it to events. Like, she's literally been there since day one, since like my very first car that was a piece of shit. Like, since day one. Like, there's never been an issue where she doubted what I was doing, never like tried to uh, steer me away from it. It's always been 100% supportive. When I was out here blowing up SRs left and right, you know, she was like, oh, it's cool. We'll, you know, we'll get it next time, on the next one, on the next one. It was never, give this shit up, I'm tired of it. Uh, the YouTube, 
Like she was the one who recommended me to do the YouTube. She's the one who actually started my Facebook and Instagram before I was like not into social media. You know, she's the one who started all that shit and she's the one who really, really pushed for the YouTube. And um, you know, thanks to thanks to her, a lot of this is possible. And you know, if it wasn't for her, who knows where you know where I'd be at. I'd probably be doing some other ass, you know, grimy shit or something, but um, you know, I'm not gonna find somebody better than her. That is my best friend. And, you know, it's time to tie the fucking knot. Well overdue. Uh, she deserves this shit. And as much as my bullshit that she's put up with, I think it's time for me to, you know, kind of get my shit together and do right by her. So, here we go. So, my boy's been stashing this away for me for, for a while. And I'm finally ready to, uh, to go through with it and do this shit. But, yeah. This is what we're doing this weekend. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. When y'all don't see me post for the next couple days, now you guys know why. I'm actually about to be out there enjoying my vacation. No camera, just just us. What's up, girl? Ready? Ready. Tahoe trip number two? Number two. So yeah, I got my uh, radiator back there also. I'm about to go drop this off at the shop on our way there. This is my Koyo V-Series, V-whatever, neck V-Technology radiator thingy, thingy, thingy. And also got some new spall fans. These are 14-inch uh, fans, and these fans flow almost 1,800 each. So one of these fans flow more, well, one fan flows more than both of my current 12-inch uh, spall fans. Here you go. And grab the other fan. Other spall. Ladies, right her. One thing that I did notice that I'm actually super excited about because it's gonna clear up some space is this right here. See, water next is right there at the corner. That's where this sits, and it moves it over this way a little bit more. So it actually sits right next to the, the reservoir over here. So this is gonna clear up a lot of space. So in the future, I am gonna be putting my four inch intake back on here. Now that I have the room for it, I don't have to worry about this anymore. That's something I definitely needed. And this is just a regular pass, nothing fancy, not a dual pass or triple pass or anything. Basically water comes through and just dribbles back down. Whereas here it takes it a, a bit longer to get to the bottom. So yeah, we're on our way to Tahoe now. We're about to shake, so we're about to just end this vlog here. And y'all not gonna see me for a couple days. I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady. Speed limit 65, I'm about to do 80. Fuck the niggas say no. I've been on the come up. You can go to speak, but it's better if you run up. You can ride with a nigga, but I'ma give you a choice. If you really wanna holler, then I'ma give you a choice.